Tonight, some good news. Two-year-old Venice Lampkins is safe and sound. The Tulsa toddler was reunited with her mother today, 12 days after police say she was abducted by her father. Tulsa police and U.S. Marshals found her in an abandoned house outside of Winniewood with her non-custodial father, Justin Lampkins. Two News reporter Sarah Goldenberg was there when the family was reunited at home. She's live in our newsroom now with more. Sarah. Russ, 12 days seemed like an eternity for this family. They're just glad to welcome Venice home where she belongs. <laughs> the search for Venice Lampkins is over, and it has a happy ending. Here you are. We got you. We got you home. Home again, Venice is all smiles. He's all smiles. What? Grandpa? Grandpa? Papa? <laughs> Venice was last seen May 6th. Police say her non-custodial father, Justin Lampkins, abducted her from her mother's car near 61st and Peoria. Tulsa police and U.S. Marshals eventually tracked him down near Winniewood. Authorities found Venice unharmed, but she was mildly dehydrated and malnourished. Her mom, Rhea Smith, got to the hospital as fast as she could. I said, I'm here for Venice Lampkins, and I turned and saw her, and she's like, Mommy! I just start crying. Smith says she what still a, held hope day this day would come. Today's great. I mean, I, I, I can't even explain the feeling. Just glad to have her home. <laughs> Venice's grandfather, Rick, says getting her home took a community effort. Family and friends blanketed the city and surrounding towns with flyers and posters. My hat is off to everybody that has jumped on the wagon and, and uh, and the tremendous support that we've gotten to, to get through these last 12 days, it's just incredible, unbelievable. Now the family says they just uh, want justice. And I don't want anybody to go through what, what, what this family's gone through this, in these last 12 days. Lampkins is in Garvin County Jail and will be transported back to Tulsa soon. He faces charges including child stealing. Live in the newsroom, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.